This is Ignited Mind Tutorials and my name is Manak Brahma. I am going to take you through the process of arithmetic progressions. This is a very important and of course a very easy topic for uh, IIT aspirants. And we will deal with all types of progressions. The first thing that we are going to start with is arithmetic progressions. Okay? So, what exactly do we mean by an arithmetic progressions? Most of you have studied this in the 10th and uh, you will be studying it in 11th and 12th as well. Arithmetic progression basically means a form of series in which we are making some calculation. So this is basically a series in which we will have a first term. Okay? So how do we define an arithmetic progression? Okay? An arithmetic progression basically is defined in terms of Tn. This Tn actually means a term of the arithmetic progression which is dependent on the first term and on the common difference. So how do we say that this, uh, that a particular series, a particular series is in arithmetic progression? A series is in arithmetic progression when we have a difference of this d is going to be a common difference. So the difference between the nth term and the term preceding it will always be a constant. This will be a constant. The difference between the nth term and the term preceding it that is n minus 1th term is always going to be a constant. So let's have a look at this. Any series, let's say if, if we take a number series of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. Okay, we will have the first term as 1. As you can see that this has a common difference of plus 2. This common difference can be anything. It can be a positive number. It can be a negative number and it can be a decimal a positive decimal, it can be a negative decimal and it can be a, a fraction as well, a positive fraction or it can be a negative fraction as well. So we will just quickly uh, look into the terms which you have already studied most of it in the term standard and now we are going to take it ahead from here. So if we look at the nth term, it is given by a plus n minus 1 into d. By A, we mean it's the first term. In some books, it is written as T1. Okay. Then we have D, which is the common difference. This would be the common difference between successive terms of an AP. This will be the common difference between successive terms of an AP. The second thing that is associated with this is the sum of n terms, which again you have studied, but just to reiterate, this will be sum of n terms that's going to be n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now there are two ways to represent this. This is the first term of course. This is then sum of n terms. n is the number of terms and d is the common difference. So if I was to decode this formula Sn which means sum of n terms then we have d which means common difference between successive terms. This common difference is basically given by the general formula of Tn minus Tn minus 1. A which is the first term. This first term is also represented in some books by T1. Okay? And then we have n that is number of terms. So we generally have two ways in order to represent this sum of n terms. The other way to represent this will be n by 2 A plus L. Now this A is again the first term. What do we mean by this L? L is basically the last term of the AP. The last term of the AP and since we have n terms here, we can correlate this L to the nth term which is A plus n minus 1 into D. So if, if in a series the last term is known to us and we know how many terms it is of, then we can also represent this as n by 2 into A plus L. So we have basically three, three main formulas for AP. The first one is the TNth term. The second one is the sum of n terms. And in order to represent the sum of n terms, we have two basic formulas, n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And the other one will be n by 2 into a plus l. So we are going to look into some uh, very uh, common factors of an AP. 
and we are going to represent it very quick. 